So what do I think of Six of Crows? You might want to brace yourself. So this video will be an update to Six of Crows, this is the audiobook I'm currently listening to. I won't do a review yet, I'll wait till I finish, keyword finish. So I had to restart this book like three times. This book was recommended to me by my niece Leanne. She warned me that the beginning was slow and I would to brace myself, just to hang in there. So I started listening to it and I found myself not listening to it. It was plain. There was stuff going on in the background, but I, I, I seemed to check out and start thinking about other items, other things, other books. I just came off of Superpowers Year 3 and it just it couldn't hold my attention. I had to restart it two separate times and a ways in each time. So that's one of the reasons I still haven't finished. Is this a bad book? Well, the book is probably a lot better than the audiobook. And I haven't read the book, but why would I say that? The narration. It just... First off, I normally don't like when there's more than one narrator. I, I prefer one narrator, but I've listened to books with several narrators. And, and uh, there is especially uh, Secondhand Curses by Drew Hayes done very well but when there's more than one narrator normally what is done is each narrator picks one or several characters and then they just narrate for those characters so there's still that that integrity between the per, the personas well six of crows did it different so each chapter begins with someone telling the chapter a, a certain character speaking to the chapter and while they're speaking they're narrating all the characters. So the next chapter, different narrator. Uh, different, same characters, different narrator. And it, I kept getting lost between the characters. I was like, wait, wh wh who's this? Or why, why did this person do, ah, it's, it's this other person. And it just, it just kept getting confused. I actually, the, the final time I restarted it, I, I finally understood what they were going for. And I had to basically hack my mind it's not that hard to do, so it wasn't a big deal. But I had to, I had to envision that these these narrators were just like sitting at a campfire telling a story, and each one was taking turns, and and that helped me to really track the characters. I willfully pay a lot more attention than I normally do. Was planning on DNFing this book. It was going nowhere fast. It's a fantasy book. There, the characters are all right. Uh, they, I liked the way they were being fleshed out through flashbacks and, you know, moments where they're asked a question and, you know, they start pondering and thought and flesh, fleshes out their background. That was done very nice. The story itself is really a heist story. I haven't gotten to the heist yet, but the journey from point A to point B felt rushed. Uh, normally fantasy books, it's about the trip, right? I mean, the end destination is, is a blip on the story map. And this one just felt rushed. Uh, a lot of things happen very quickly. And then you get these flashbacks that are good for fleshing out the character. Not so good for the journey from point A to point B. So, yeah, it's not looking good. Uh, as of right now, I would give this two stars. Which for me is, you know, if there's nothing else, go for it. But I don't recommend. I'm going to finish it though because as my niece promised, it is starting to pick up and it is starting, I'm starting to get a lot more enjoyment out of it. But it, you shouldn't have to endure so much to get enjoyment from a book. I know this is a very popular book and a lot of people might not agree with me. And that's fine, you know, as everyone has different genres, everyone likes different items, different aspects of books. Uh, this audiobook actually has a really good uh, score, so there's a lot of people that did enjoy it. Just I was not one of them. I might be blown, you know, I haven't finished yet. I might do a follow-up to this video. This book is amazing. Go out and get it now. I don't see that happening. It could happen, though. It could happen. There's a sequel to this book, and as of right now, there's no way I would, I would reach out for it. Maybe the book, or maybe if they do the narration differently. But, yep, so that's where I'm at on Six of Crows. I have six hours left. The total book time, I think, is 16 hours, so I have about 10 hours under me. And this is my... Ephraim and Zemini's skin, he was just too noticeable for comfort. They camped in a dry gully bordered by a tangle of shrubs. A tangle of shrugs. 
watch out for those shrugs. I've talked to a few booktubers about this book, and the consensus seems to be similar to what I'm facing. A lot of people DNF'd it. I haven't really talked to anyone that, that like, loves this book. Even my niece who recommended, she recommended it with a warning. Like, she's like, hang in there. It starts slow, but at the end, there's enjoyment to be had. And uh, and I'm, I'm seeing that there is enjoyment to be had. But as of right now, two out of five. Yeah, six of crows, I'm telling you. You have been warned. Have you listened to Six of Crows? Am I completely wrong? Is this the best book ever written? And I'm just out in left field? Comment below. Let me know. So a couple follow-up videos. I'm going to do an April wrap-up. And I'm also going to do my TBR. TBL. For, uh, well actually, it's going to be a combination TBR and TBL for May. I got me a new book as you can see it right there yeah boy i'm not even gonna we'll, we'll talk about that in the future we'll talk about that in the future trust me yeah as you can see got me the labo that's gonna be a project for the weekend i probably won't do a video on that but if you want a video on that let me know and i'm also gonna do a book unhaul yeah that's gonna be fun i'm probably gonna do a book haul as well so some of those bookish terms coming at you i'm also gonna do a tag that was uh, a shout out by Satina loves to read. I uh, also put her link below. I did. Uh, she mentioned me in another tag, and I did add a lot of fun. It was my Netflix tag. At the end of the video, I will put that so you can pick on it. And finally, one other video I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be listening to the Lost Fleet, the Dauntless series by Jack Campbell. Something I'm gonna be doing different. Me and my niece Leanne, we we bought the same audiobook. And we're gonna be listening. We're gonna we're gonna do video updates together. I'm, I'm figuring out how we can do it, so so you can see both of us having a conversation actually about where we are in the book. So that's been Dro Talks. Thank you for listening. Hit that like and subscribe. Ring that bell to get notified. And we'll see you next time.